Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah Mack, and I have joined forces with the lovely Mina Villegas and Mossy Art Studios to bring you 12 days of Christmas. Uh, Mina started off yesterday with a hidden partridge in a pear tree, and today, mine is the second day of Christmas, which is two turtle doves. Now, I have been really, really thinking a lot about how I'm going to approach this piece. I decided to go with a round canvas, and what I'm going to do, uh, hopefully, um, I was inspired by Olga Sovi, and she did a traveling kiss pour and turned it into a feather. So I'm hoping to do a feather across here. Um, I was gonna do two, but I think the tilting out is going to be a little difficult and I don't wanna botch this, so we're just gonna do one. Um, sometimes simplicity is best. Uh, the colors I'm using, my base coat is a self-mix um, custom color. There's Artist Loft Flow White in here. There's Arteza Sea Green, the Pearl Sea Green. I also have a little bit of a couple of drops of Payne's Gray by Golden, and it's their fluid um, that I put in here. It was going to be a lot easier mixing that. So I have this lovely blue gray. I'm not sure. It's, it's beautiful. And what colors go with that? Well, we have white. This is Artist Loft Flow White mixed with flow trawl. I also have Pebeo's iridescent gold. And these are somewhat thick, but not as thick as if I were to do a galaxy pour because I want the composition of the feather to sort of stay put. And I've never done one before, so I'm sort of nervous about this. <laughs> this is um, a heavy bodied paint by Golden and this is Payne's Gray. I figured I'd bring a nice contrasting color in here. And then the fourth color I'm using is Arteza's Pearl Marmalade. And it's a beautiful iridescent color. So uh, on the copper side of things, so I thought all these colors really go well together. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is layering them in two two ounce little solo shots. Uh, I'm going to do the white and the gold on one side. And then on this side, I'm going to do the Payne's Gray and the Pearl Marmalade. And I'm going to explain to you why I did not choose to do the Pearl Marmalade and white together. Um, and that is uh, sometimes when it's mixed with white or put next to white, it could turn a little pinky. And I didn't want that. So our base coat, we're going to lay that down in just a moment. But first, we're going to actually layer the cups and I think I'm going to do the gold and white first and I'm not exactly certain how Olga had really layered her cups I don't know if it was multiple little layers I uh, not that I missed that part of the video I just was so excited to do this that I did not retain that information nor write it down and I probably should have, but it is what it is and it is going to be just fine. All right. And maybe we'll top it off with a little bit of gold. I will link my inspiration video down below so you'll definitely be able to see that. And then with this one, I think what we're gonna do is the Payne's Gray. And we're gonna get this all together. Um, tomorrow night, uh, the Masi boys will be doing the third day of Christmas and all of these episodes will be airing 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 
uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and anybody in between, you know who you are uh, and you know your time zones. So very excited about this. All right, I think I wanna do another layer of white here. And a follow up with the Payne's Gray. Okay, so we have all of our colors layered in cups. Let me just get these little things out of the way. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I sure hope it works. Um, but if not, it was a fun, fun thing to try. All right, and this is my base coat. And like I said, Artist Sloth Flow White with a little bit of Arteza's Sea Green, um, the Pearl Sea Green, and then also some of the Fluid Payne's Gray by Goldens to create this lovely color, soft blue gray color. And I'm just letting it go off the edge. There we go. Whoop, we gotta bring it down off of this one. There. So I'm gonna probably sort of turn it a bit as I go. And I think what I wanna do is go the opposite way. So uh, this is definitely not turning out how I had envisioned. So, <laughs> I mean, they're still kissing. All right, there is definitely some paint left over in the cup. rotated this way so that you guys can see how I envision it. Hopefully um, this will be a little bit better in the long run. So I am going to come in actually dip in my paint spray. <laughs> oh man. Um, so maybe I'll just come in and Sure, it looks like a feather.
this fix up right here. Now I gotta come in here, I think, and I love this center area that when I came back with the paint kiss. So I love how it's sort of like a sort of is representative of two turtle doves with two feathers on there. So. I think I'm just gonna leave maybe this side, I don't know. Just keep going. So I think that's all I'm gonna do. I love the inside portion. So the outside I think is um, one feather and then when I came back in, I created another feather and this is in representation for two turtle doves. Um, so mine is done for now. We will see the dried results uh, later on down uh, the road. I'm going to move this over and um, into its drying space. And uh, so stay tuned tomorrow night for Mossy Art Studio, 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, Eastern Standard Time. And Pacific uh, Time would be the four o'clock hour. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy our 12 days of Christmas. You guys have a great day. Bye. Okay guys, I had some paint left over, so I figured why not go for a quick little flip cup. I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas here, and I've got a nine ounce cup. I also still have some of my base coat. I might put that on there. Um, my white, etc. we're gonna go from there. So what we're gonna do is, I have a little bit left in here. 
just gonna pour it in there. All right. I'm gonna pop some of the paint's gray left. Let's just put this on top. This is the copper paint's gray. A little bit that's left in here. Don't want to waste any paint, but I also don't really have enough to do anything much larger, so why not finish this off? And we're gonna do this. Or maybe I'll do, good Lord, I'm not sure. I thought maybe ring pour. That might end up being too messy. But we'll see. Come in with the marmalade. I love Arteza's marmalade. In fact, I love Arteza's pearl line in a whole. So, I mean, any of the pearls, they're just beautiful. And then, um, of course, my staple. Bordeaux red and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna come in with gold now. This is the iridescent gold from Pivio. So I have that. I come back in with Golden's Paints Gray. white and the basic oh, blue gray that I use stir sticks. We're going to let that sit for a minute. Put that to the side. Let's see what it has to offer us. We'll be right back. All right, guys, this has been sitting for a few minutes now. And I'm just going to wring it all out. I'm going to bring that back to middle because I don't want that beautiful pearl marmalade falling off the edges. It really wants to. There we go. Look at all those cells. Whee! So I'm going to come down to this corner here. And then over here. I'm going to come down to this one. I'm not really worried about <clears throat> composition. I still have a lot to work with. So I'm just really getting the excess paint off and then I will move things around a little more. Love this. Let's sort of bring it back this way just a smidge. I don't like those cells in the corner. There we go. And 
voila. All right. So I'm going to clean up the edges and uh, we'll bring you guys in for a close up on both pieces. All right, guys. So here is the first pour, my feathers. Definitely love the center area in there. It's so beautiful. And I love the base color. So that is my feather for two turtle doves, or maybe it's a double feather. And then we're gonna go over here in this beautiful hot mess right here, but the copper is absolutely gorgeous, or the pearl marmalade. I always call it copper, but I'm, I'm assuming it's their version of copper and all the gold in here. That is, uh, I love it. It's a beautiful piece. I'm just gonna brighten it up a little bit. There we go. That is more to the tone in which it is. And what else? So uh, that is it. So thank you for joining me today for two turtle doves of the 12 days of Christmas that um, I'm doing with Mina and the boys. So to stay tuned for tomorrow night. Please tune in at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 4 o'clock Pacific Time for the third day of Christmas brought to you by Massey Art Studio. You guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for joining me. Bye and happy holidays.